this is Tom Radecki. And today I'm starting with orthotics, pre-made orthotics, custom orthotics. Which ones are good? There's so many brands out there. They're expensive. They can range from 20 bucks to $700 for an orthotic. Which one should you get? Should you start with the $20 one or should you go with the more expensive one? We're going to go over all the studies. What works? Do you need to scan at the store? Do you need to step in a box? Do you need to use your phone to scan you? What's the best one? This is so confusing, but we're going to give you the answers. I've dispensed thousands of these and I'm going to tell you what works. Orthotics can be really good or really bad. There's a lot of questions. Should you go barefoot walking and strengthen your muscles or should you wear a maximalist shoe with the biggest orthotics in the world and cushion your feet? What's the deal here? There's a lot of conflicting studies. What's practical out there? Well, in the 1970s and 1980s, orthotics became very popular. They were big money makers for doctors and almost all insurances covered them. But then everybody got in on the game. Essentially chiropractors, stores, pop-up stores, mail order stuff with boxes. Everybody got in on it. Everybody's dispensing orthotics like candy. And over the years, they developed a pretty bad reputation. There's iPhone scanners, there's tablets, there's boxes that you can step in that are mailed to your house and 3D printed. What works and what doesn't work? I'm gonna go over all the brands in no particular order and tell you the pros and the cons. Atrix. Atrix is a brand that focuses on comfort and orthopedic solutions for the foot. These are ones that have deals at running shoe stores and boot stores. You step on them, they create a 3D image of your foot and recommend an orthotic. Where these are good is it kind of gives you your foot type, but then the orthotic's a little bit more expensive because they pay for the scanner, and it's a great gimmick. These can be very effective, but they're still mostly under corrective. I would re highly recommend these. They can be really good, and there's a reason people have so much success with them. Atrix uses the Mosaic insole customization system where you can essentially stand on it and make some modifications. They have what they call fit specialist at stores. So they partner with stores. This leads to a slightly more expensive but non-custom orthotic. Overall, the sense of Atrix is it has been around for a long time. Since 1946, they are advancing. They're now using custom orthotics, some AI technology. They are softer orthotics. They're a little bit easier to get used to, but some complaints are the price is higher. They're not exactly as supportive as a true custom orthotic. They always have to make them a little bit less supportive so that people don't hate them right off the bat. And that's unfortunately the problem of getting something online. But overall, people find them comfortable, but not as supportive as a good custom pair could be and still a little bit expensive. Spenco. I personally used to love Spenco. I'm a big fan of Spenco. I think they kind of went more commercial and develop a lower range and a higher range insole at this point. So I don't think they're quite as high quality as they used to be, but they still make pretty good insoles. They still make pretty good arch supports that reduce discomfort. They target plantar fasciitis and overpronation. They make sandals. They make slippers. They can be really good. They put a little bit a cushion on there and they're praised for their durability and long-lasting performance. Again, they used to be really good. I've heard from a lot of patients that the quality is not quite what it used to be. Spenco is actually a pretty good option. It can be a little bit cheaper. They have it built into sandals, into shoes. They are a pretty reliable option with a deep heel cup. Now they're not really custom. They're kind of more mass market. You can buy more of them for more of different shoes. And overall they work pretty good. The quality probably has been declining over time and the reviews tend to show that. And they tend to make more of an upper level and a lower level shoe and insole now. So just be aware for that when you're shopping for it online. Upstep. Upstep is a brand that specializes in custom made orthotic insoles. This is one that they mail you the box. It's in the two to $300 range and they manufacture the device and ship it to you. They focus on a semi custom. And the reason I say semi custom because it is a custom insole, but they're never going to go as aggressive and as supportive as an in-person orthotic would be that can be adjusted with a doctor. But the reviews are great. People can be really happy. But at the same time, I have a lot of patients come in that say it just was not all that corrective. And it still costs almost as much as a custom orthotic in the office with a doctor. Upstep is really popular with its advertising, especially on Twitter and social medias. I see a lot of people ordering these. The price is a little bit more expensive. You get a phone box shipped to your house, you step on it, you send it a few months later or so, 
for $230 as the price you get an orthotic back. This is a somewhat more aggressive orthotic than the pre-made ones, but it's still not as aggressive as I would eventually go for some people with some issues. The trick is you're only getting one, and I like to think about it kind of like getting your braces for your teeth, but only correcting it in one mold rather than adjustments over time. And that's always gonna be the downside of custom orthotics like this. That way it's either a longer break-in period or it's never aggressive enough. Superfeet. Superfeet is a little bit on the higher end of the pre-made orthotics. They can be very beneficial. I actually like these. They're a little bit more on the slim side and under corrective side, but a little bit more on the high quality expensive side. The reviews are pretty good. I like Superfeet. They are a pre-made option, but they're a little bit more expensive and they're a little bit higher quality than the other ones. They have a built-in hard surface underneath the soft topper. I noticed that they do last a little bit longer for patients. Patients are a lot happier with them, but they are a little bit more expensive. You have to buy more of them. They are a pretty good pre-made option. And I would say for the pre-made ones, they may be one of the better routes to go, but are they the best? We'll see. Price does start at about $59 to $69 as the base price and could be a little bit higher, especially with inflation as, as this video ages. Dr. Scholl's. Dr. Scholl's is very well recognized, probably the most popular brand. They focus more on gel inserts. They do have a scanner at grocery stores. This scanner essentially goes from high arched foot to low arched foot, but all three are very under corrective. They're gel slabs that don't really support your foot. These are meant more to get that initial ooh, ah, sensation when you first step on it, but it doesn't really hold your knees, your hips, your feet straight. The shoe is gonna help a lot more with that. Where these are really good is for older people that don't have a lot of cushion on the bottom of their foot. They're a great introductory insole. Dr. Scholl's is widely available. They are at every single grocery store out there, so you should be able to find them pretty easily. Where they made a big breakthrough is this scanner. So you probably see this at most pharmacies, most grocery stores. This, in theory, is great. I'll tell you the reality is by looking at a foot and ordering these straight from the factory, you can literally get them for about one thirtieth the cost. So like realistically, a lot of these are made for a lot cheaper. They're really marked up for the scanning technology. I would say that older people do like these. These are soft, they're easy to get used to, but they're more of a gel pad with a little bit of plastic around it. It is better than nothing, but the reality is for that kind of money, you can get much better value, and we're going to go over that. The pre-made slabs and even the shoes can be like $20, $30 or less, which is a phenomenal price. This 3D scanner, when you stand on it, it's going to run you at least like $60 to $70. I would say there's probably better ones you can get for that value. Potentially some of the other ones I mentioned here are in that range, but it really depends on your biomechanics quite a bit as well. Foot leveler orthotics. These ones are dispensed as custom orthotics. Foot levelers partner with chiropractors. Again, these can help. They provide vertical compression. They're geared more towards back compression. They don't really stabilize the foot very much. They're more of a very undercorrected, more of a cushion pad, in my opinion. They don't really hold the foot from overpronating. They're more of a vertical compression device. And again, they're very expensive. I believe they're a straight chiropractor partnered company. I don't really hear of anybody else using them except for chiropractors. From what I understand, foot levelers are partnered specifically with chiropractors. So the focus more is on back problems, core problems. I can tell you from my standpoint, they do not have a heel cup. So I don't really understand how they're going to prevent overpronation or supination, they don't really prevent that side to side flattening, stretching of the plantar fascia, the Achilles tendon. Really, they provide vertical compressive force. I think that is more the focus. From what I know about the studies on orthotics, there's not a focus on rotational transverse plane motion. It's all sagittal plane loading. Power step. This is one started by a podiatrist. Power step is probably the number one seller of higher quality orthotics. They have a lot of different brands. They have more aggressive ones, less aggressive ones. They have gone softer. On a scale of one to 10, they're probably like a four or five on the correction matrix. They're pretty soft. They do give you some support. I would say they're a very good choice for a pre-made orthotic. There's a few different levels, but they're a great introductory one. I recommend the full length one or the half length one. They make a lot of my recommended list and they are widely available at a lot of grocery store. They're kind of the high end grocery store one if they are available. You can't 
can't go wrong with Power Step. They make a lot of different options. Kids, dress shoes, men's, women's, more aggressive, less aggressive. The price has gone up with inflation, but it's a good go. I would say if you're not 70 plus, probably better than like the Dr. Scholl's as far as the grocery store brands. It's more for the fit, athletic, durable person. Walk Hero. Walk Hero is very popular online. This is kind of like the Chinese knockoff of Power Step. They have a little bit less option, but they're the slightly lower cost Power Step, although now they're going mainstream and they're starting to raise their price again. But Walk Hero can be a very effective one. I used to love Walk Hero. They were essentially the knockoff version of Power Steps for a much lower cost, but as they get more popular, they've pretty much risen to match the exact cost of Power Step. They're kind of similar, and it's forced Power Step to step up its game. It's added some more features, some more brands, so they're pretty comparable. Walk Hero is more the budget, but now higher price version of Power Step. So my personal results with these orthotics, all of them can work great. I lean more towards Power Step and Walk Hero as my good pre-made ones. I've personally had great success with orthotics. I've dispensed thousands of them. And I would say 70% of the time, the pre-made ones can do a great job. For these conditions, peripheral neuropathy, ball of the foot pain, bunion pain, hammer toe pain, heel pain, arch pain, ankle pain, knee pain, hip pain. What I always tell people is you want to go in steps and specifically you want to start with a good shoe. If you don't have a good supportive shoe and you try and use an orthotic, you're going to fail no matter what because that orthotic is going to be uneven and the wall of your shoe is going to collapse and flap side to side. I go over my favorite recommended shoes, but I like Brooks. I like Asics. I like New Balance. I like OrthoFeet. I like On. I like Kuru, I like Saucony. There's a lot of great brands that can fit an orthotic and you take out the insole from in there and you stick a pre-made orthotic in there. That's a great start. And for most of these, depending on your age, you wanna start softer and go firmer. If you're in your 80s or 90s, you wanna start with something really soft like a Dr. Scholl's. Dr. Scholl's is the least risky orthotic, but it hardly does anything in terms of support. The next level up, you probably wanna go with a Power Step or a Walk Hero. And I kinda like my favorites for the situation situation below and that holds you a little bit straighter and then as a month two months go by you get used to it they might not feel like they're doing very much at all that's where the custom insert comes in and if you have a long stubborn problem the custom inserts so upstep and companies like fits perfect upstep works with a box you can step in you create an impression and it sends you an orthotic. And number two, fits perfect. You can use your iPhone to scan them. I have my links for all those below. And then if that's not working, you want to come in to see a podiatrist like myself. And if you're in Michigan, I would love to see you. I usually follow with pre-made orthotics that I have available for free in my office in most cases to start off with. And then we have a 3D printer that can print custom orthotics a lot of the times for very cost-effective rates, much cheaper than the pre-ordered ones even online. What I do is I do a biomechanical exam. I check your hips, your knees, your thighs, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. I bend your ankles up and down, your big toe joints up and down. I see where it's tight. What kind of adjustments do we have to make? And the thing is you can adjust them from appointment to appointment. You wanna look at your leg kind of like a dentist looks at a tooth. You don't wanna straighten that tooth all at once. You wanna take that tooth and get used to it a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter. And when your foot is now straight, that soft tissue gets used to it. Your hand hamstrings, your thigh muscles, your hips, your lower back over a couple months get used to walking straight. That's when walking barefoot makes sense. That's when strengthening your muscles makes sense. At first you want to just get used to walking straight and your muscles will adapt. Using this method virtually 100% of patients that come see me do see improvement and there's no real risk. The cost does not have to be high. What's a 20 or 30 or $50 pre-made orthotic when you're weighing surgery as a result? And here's the real big secret. All of this stuff is around for a reason because it works. There's happy people and there's unhappy people with all of these. You just have to use it correctly. And the big secret with orthotics are nobody really makes a lot of money on these anymore. Compared to like a twenty, thirty thousand dollar surgery for a hospital, why would the hospital advertise a pre-made orthotic? Why would the medical system advertise a twenty dollar orthotic when they can make money on a thirty thousand dollar surgery and a patient for life? It's something you have to think about, and that's why there's not that many studies for orthotics 
anymore. The reality is, in my opinion, orthotics work amazing. This stuff all works. The barefoot walking works, the orthotics, the good shoes, they all work, but they have to be used at the right time and the right sequence. I go over my favorite shoes, my favorite orthotics, and my condition specific guides. If you're in Michigan, come see me. But the big secret as well is you have to get a biomechanical exam. If something's hurting when you wear your orthotics, you have to get it looked at. Is it a bad knee, a bad hip, a bad foot? You might have to massage. You might have to use a foam roller. You might have to get physical therapy. You might have to get an injection. You might have to get shockwave therapy. Ungunk your body. Start walking straight. And if you want to walk straighter, check out my 30-day guide to transform your health. You won't regret it.